Hi, I'm the Specky Techie, uh, or Steve, however you want to call me. Um, I'm going to be unboxing the PA H61MX USB 3 motherboard by Asus. So, open the box, nothing fancy, just plain packaging, you know, it's quite a budget motherboard at £40. Um, so, let's see what exactly the motherboard is like. So, before we unwrap, let's close the box back up and see what you get. So you get GPU boost, graphics upgrade, uh, anti-surge safe, active quiet and cool, crash free BIOS, and UEI, no, UEFI BIOS, easy and flexible. Um, supports 22 and 32 nanometer technology CPUs, LGA 1155, Intel Core processors, H6 and 1 chips there, Windows 8, ready. Or oh, the BIOS driver is required. Um, so, full time, uh, yeah, it's just going over exactly um, what features it has. So, let's get to the motherboard itself. Um, I'm not answering. Um, open this up and let's see what we get. So, surprisingly, we get a motherboard. Um, so, it's a fairly basic motherboard, it's got four SATAs, a removable BIOS chip. If it fails, you can replace it. Two USB headers, two PCI Express times one slot, PCI Express full slot. I don't know if that's PCI Express Generation 3 or not. Um, a CPU socket, uh, two memory slots, uh, though those there aren't retractable, There's, you just put your memory in, these are the retractable sides, 24-pin um, CPU connector, there's no USB 3 header which I can see on here, which is the only thing that lets it down, although it does have USB 3 on the back, so they could have really put a header on this, um, but, you know, 40 quid motherboard, what do you expect? It's only got a 4-pin CPU connector, so you won't get any overclocking out of this. It's not designed for that, it's just a basic motherboard, so it's just going to work. Um, then you got uh, one, two fan slot uh, headers, so that's everything for the fan, front panels, anything else I'm leaving out. That's about it. So let's have a look at the back of this. Um, so you get... Two USBs, legacy PS2 port, DVI, VGA, two USB 3 and another two USB 2s, LAN and what I'm guessing is Realtek HD audio. So there you go, Realtek HD audio. Um, so let's have a look, see what you get in the box with it. Let's see what features there are, additional things. So the back plate's fairly basic, no colours, no uh, images, just carved in text with little basic icons. So that's that. You get two SATA cables. Um, I don't think a SATA 6 is a bit certified, but I don't see the difference. You get your motherboard manual and driver disc in there and quick start guide so thanks for watching don't forget to rate and subscribe